stuff. And more than being established, he says that the Lord will also, his words, guard you from the evil one. Some translations simply say evil. However, with an article before evil, it should be translated as the evil or the evil one. Uh, I'm certain that it's masculine, and if that's the case, what it would be Pani Ross, it would be the evil one. Um, you know, when they translate, uh, I think the NIV does it, um, when it's uh, uh, deliver us from, uh, the King James says evil. Well, it's, it's more specific, deliver us from the evil one, okay? Because the evil one is the author of evil. So there's evil, but we want to be delivered from the evil one, who's the one that's causing all this evil in the first place. Anyway, um, the personification of evil or the source of evil, meaning the devil, is what is being presented. Again, like the word faith, he is using the same word as in the preceding verse, translated there as wicked, in order to make a play on the words, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked, meaning evil men. The Lord will guard you from the evil one. So Paul is using these words in a way that the Greek people would read it and they'd say, I completely get that. And then when we have a translation that isn't quite right, you're not going to get what he's trying to elucidate to you. But that's what he is saying here.